Well, the dog is in the Dodgem car. Well, it's all changed with Dodgems. This one is going to go up for sale, the one I've been working on. Um, I got halfway there and then I saw something I preferred, so that's on its way down the stairs. And we have uh, yeah, a tyre, a sign, and a different body shell. <laughs> so I'll put that on the tyre and see how it looks. Four lights, woohoo! Needs a lot of work, but there we go. So here's the reveal of the new Dodgem car. Except it isn't new, it's old, it's 1970s. The other was 1960s, but this is the shape I wanted. I was always wanting one of these. Look at that. It's got four lights at the front. It is absolutely filthy. The paint is flaking off. It needs a lot of work to brighten it up and make it look nice again. It's been outside for ages. So you can see it's got a lot of, you know, sort of uh, detritus in the paint. Um, it's been repainted several times. This side bit is just some silver tape they've stuck on it. <laughs> um, looks like it was orange as well at one point, looking at that. This one hasn't got a seat moulding. But there we've got the um, hole where the coin box, the, uh, the token box must have been. Got some bits of bright work here and there. And if we go round to the back, hang on a minute. Yeah, I can't release that side because there's not enough space. So I could lift the body shell up, but it looks the same as the other side. Um, there's no rusty trim on this, which is good. The other one had rusty trim, which I needed to get off and paint and sort out. This has got chrome trim that's been painted, so that should be able to get that off there. Sorry, the dog's going nuts. But look at this rear styling. I really like this shape. I'll show you it properly in a minute, but look, this has even got the Revachon badge on it. That will focus. Yeah, I'll try and get that cleaned up, but that's the manufacturer's badge. Um, this rear grille should be chrome strips. It's all been painted, but you can see when it when the paint comes off. It's out of focus, isn't it? Hang on a second. Yeah, you can see when the paint comes off. It actually is quite bright underneath. You can see the state of this paintwork. It's missing, it would have had a bit of trim on the back, but that would have been rusty if it had been still there, so I'm glad it's missing, to be honest. Um, yeah, look at look under here. It's filthy. It needs so much work, but so did my other one, and I've got it looking all right in the end. Hang on. There we go. Now you can read it. Relichon France. Had a number seven on it, seven on it as well. Excuse the dog. Frankie, get out of the way. <laughs> Silly animal. Um, yeah. So there we go. Yeah, look at that. I really like that. It's a shame they've painted over the rear light lens, but at least the chrome bits are still there. I think this looks well good. Better than the other one, actually. I prefer the styling of this one. It says the other one was the 1960s. This is a 1970s one, so it's... Um, a later design but it's still jolly rare these are rare to find in any condition now so yeah there we are um, I'll post another update when I get it looking a bit better but I love that at front with those four little lights it's definitely my favorite Dodgem car of all out of all the Dodgem cars that we made over the years this is my favorite one so Lots of work to do, but I'll get it looking good again, hopefully, just like the last one. Thanks for watching. My other one is now for sale, if anyone's interested in buying my other one, the orange one. Yep, it's on its side because I'm moving out of the way. But yeah, if anyone's interested in this old Dodgem, the other Dodgem car I was working on, that I sort of partly did up, um, it's going to be for sale. So uh, leave me a message in the comments and um, I'll get back to you. Cheers, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. I'm just trying the old seat in it out the other Dodgem car. The old seat from the other car, it doesn't seem to fit. So um, it does fit, but not properly. So yeah, we need to find another seat, but that's all right. 
So I took these photos back in 1989 or 1990. I saw this Dodgem car on a trailer in Weymouth and um, I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. I never thought about old Dodgem cars before and what happens to them when they retire from working on the fun fairs and when they're replaced. Um, so the, these two photos here are the ones that really got me into Dodgem cars and wanted make me want to buy my own Dodgem car in later years. So um, yeah, that's what started me on the path. It's called a Revachon Europa from 1972 and that's the car that's the car that i now have so i finally got the car i was after thanks for watching cheers bye